Climate Change has been providing services to immigrants and refugees for 26 years now, and I'm sure that you're probably, I'm preaching to the converted, I think you probably all have a really good sense of what we do here at Skills for Change. But briefly, we provide language programs, training programs, and skills upgrading programs, and employment programs. Our tagline is diversity at work, and this is very much um, a philosophy for us in the agency. It's something that we hold very dear to our heart. And it's not just something that we speak about, it's something that we practice in every day uh, in the work that we do. Um, some of you may know that Job Search Workshop emerged as a pilot to address the employment-related settlement issues of newcomers. Um, by familiarizing new immigrants to Ontario with effective job search practices uh, and techniques in Canada in a culturally appropriate manner. Uh, this program is highly relevant and needed and as employment assistant, sorry, as employment associated techniques and processes are very different um, from those in their native countries. Um, without the service provider agencies, uh, JSW would simply be words written on paper and therefore I'd like to recognize Skills for Change and their role in recognizing the importance of JSW and for the effort and commitment of the staff who implement the program. Thank you. And the credit for introducing that pilot project goes to Julie Wilson. During the first 10 months of this uh, pilot project, the total of 175 clients graduated this program from this program and 70% were employed within six months following graduation. So this is a huge success for something that was just started then. Now during this pilot year, a graduate of the program was also hired. The very first graduate was hired by SFC. And that graduate is here today with us. And she's Grace Ho. She's our program assistant. Right there, yes. Our first recipient is Grace Ho. Today, Grace works in the JSW program as the program assistant. Uh, beyond her success with us, Grace views her um, children's accomplishments as her own success as well. Her daughter graduated from university and her son is attending college. Thank you. In 2002, Anthony immigrated to Canada after living much of his life in Kenya. Two months after entering Canada, Skills for Change alumnus recommended he try the JSW workshop. Coming to Skills for Change was a turning point for him in his new life in Toronto. Approximately two weeks after graduating from the program, Anthony received two job offers. So please come forward, Anthony, to receive your award. Congratulations. Her ability spoke for itself when Reed Exhibitions Canada took her on board as the Executive Administrator. Today she is the Canadian Operations Administrator with the Society of Manufacturing Engineers Canada. So we'd like to ask Jane to come up now and receive her award. Congratulations. Andre and his family left Brazil in search for a better life and a safer life. As a result, they moved to Canada and shortly after arrived at Skills for Change where he joined the JSW program in 2005. He was already a talented professional back in Brazil, so with the help he received from JSW, in five months he landed a job in his field with AKA New Media Inc. where he is currently a senior software developer. And Andre, please come up to receive your <laughs> In January 2007, Widad made Toronto her new home after having a successful life in Tunisia. Within the same month of her arrival, Widad attended the JSW program. In October of the same year, she was recruited as an event planner by the Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration. Her husband, Mansev, uh, is however here tonight, who was also a key player in her success and support. Um, so we'd like him to come up and receive the award on her behalf. Our next award is a recipient um, not aware that she's actually getting this award. Commitment and tenacity to achieve a goal is embodied in her story. When she first arrived, 
She began taking link level four classes at Skills for Change. She then joined the JSW program as a volunteer assistant for five months, showing dedication and excellence. Tonight, we'd like to take a special um, thank you to Nicoletta on her achievements today. Please come forward. We have had many clients who have had their parents, spouses, supporting them like anything to be successful here. And we have a spouse here today with us. We are, like I remember from day one when she attended my workshop, he would come in the evening and he would tell me, well, she is not focusing on this, maybe she should do this. <laughs> and he was so supportive. And sometime later when she was successful, we invited her to present her success with us in a networking event. And not only her spouse or her parents who were visiting her from Tunisia also attended the event. And she is an award winner. And again, right now she's back in Tunisia trying to develop her own import-export business. First of all, as a job search workshop service provider, I am happy and proud to have played a role in the successful integration into the Canadian society of fellow immigrants like myself. If I may strike a personal note, this year is of great significance to me because just as this is the 10th anniversary of the job search workshop program at Skills for Change, it's also the 10th anniversary of my entry into the Canadian society as an immigrant. And over the years, gradually we started to enhance our services and the very first enhancement, the significant enhancement came when in year 2002, April, we were able to get an additional part-time facilitator. And Satya Nyanaya was the very first part-time facilitator to join the Job Search Workshop program. And later he moved as the coordinator of the program and now he has moved even higher and he's also our board member. So our small team gradually expanded to where we are now. And our team has increased from 1.5 team members to 10 members now. <laughs> the 1,200 months of progress serving 2,453 internationally educated professionals wouldn't have been achieved without the support of a strong team. As I call names, can my team members please step forward to join me? <laughs> so thank you very much, team, for your commitment and dedication. <laughs> Canada and the world face an uncertain future. We have lots to learn from the enthusiasm, generosity, and adaptability of newcomers and immigrants. They're driven by persistence, by hope, and by hope to change. They take a lo long view at future. They learn to straddle different cultures, sometimes within their own families and they get involved in the truly and uniquely a human activity of creating a brand new culture. So we look forward to another 10 years of building a better Canada and a better world together. Thank you.